Paul Bettany talks about filming Vision's death scene in Avengers Infinity War. The relationship between the android and Elizabeth Olsen's Wanda aka Scarlet Witch played a huge part in the overall narrative of the film given that he was connected to the Mind Stone, one of the six magical gems Thanos was collecting in order to execute galactic genocide. As fans know, the Mad Titan ultimately succeeded in fulfilling his goal, handing Earth's mightiest heroes their first real defeat and tragically ending the couple's relationship. As it is, both Vision and Wanda are dead in the MCU, although they died in different ways. While Vision's demise was due to Thanos ruthlessly plucking the mind gem off of his forehead, leaving him lifeless, Wanda's death was because of the Mad Titan's powerful snap that wiped out half of life in the universe. Similar to how most heroes died in the film, almost three months after Infinity War hit theaters, Bettany shares what it was like shooting the emotional scene opposite Olsen. Related, Disney calls Don Cheadle a Thanos survivor in DuckTales video speaking with MTV over the weekend at San Diego Comic Con alongside co-star Palm Clementif, who plays Mantis in the MCU. Bettany opened up about the difficult process of filming Vision's death in Infinity War, recalling how the directors, Joe and Anthony Russo, called the emotional moment the entire beaten heart of the movie. He admitted that both him and Olsen were so pressured to deliver that they had to take a moment to figure out how to do it. Well it was about 100 degrees and we were really, really sweaty. And the Russo brothers ran over to us and went, so, okay, the entire beaten heart of the movie is now on your shoulders, and they went off. So we did it a couple of times and they said, okay, that's great. Let's just improvise it now, and I just sort of looked at Lizzie and she looks at me and I thought, I'm a robot, and you're a witch. How are we gonna do this? You know, it's a lot in isolation of the rest of the plot even. And you're purple, and you've got a jewel in your head, and she's going to destroy it. And you're imagining red things coming out of her fingers. Yet you're also sort of trying to find some reality in all of this. I think we were both when it was done. Kind of like, oh, let's just go home. I think that being murdered by the love of your life because you're asking them to is pretty moving stuff that they wrote for us. In the end, the pair did a good job in effectively portraying what the Russos wanted them to. Vision's death was painful to watch, especially since Wanda had to watch him die twice, first, at her own hands, and second, at Thanos. This was particularly tricky to pull off considering that up until Infinity War. The MCU barely put any spotlight on the supposed romantic attraction between the two. Captain America Civil War hinted that they would eventually fall in love, but there wasn't enough setup for people to get invested in their story with all the other things happening with the fallout between Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. It's unclear whether or not they will be brought back to life in Avengers 4. However, Vision's chances of being revived are higher than his love given his robotic nature. Stark, with the help of Bruce Banner and maybe even Shuri, can find a way to fix him up using science. As for Wanda, it will all depend on if she'll be one of the heroes that will presumably be resurrected in the movie like Spider-Man and Black Panther. Fans just have to wait until the Phase 3 capper rolls out next May to find out. Source. MTV Tags. The Avengers 3 looking for an AD-free experience on screen rant.